Good morning. Today is Sunday, the 15th of June, Feast of Corpus Christi, Feast of the Body and Blood of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The Gospel is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 6. A few weeks ago it was this, we also looked at this Gospel. It's where Jesus inaugurates um, the Eucharist in John's Gospel. It's not at the Last Supper, it's in this chapter. So it's John chapter 6, verses 51 to 58. Jesus said to the crowd, I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. Then the Jews started arguing with one another. How can this man give us his flesh to eat, they said. And Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, if you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in you. Anyone who does eat my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life and I shall raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me, and I live in him. As I, who am sent by the living Father, myself draw life from the Father, so whoever eats me will draw life from me. This is the bread come down from heaven, not like the bread our ancestors ate, they're dead, but anyone who eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. And the first reading today is precisely that reference to the bread that the ancestors ate, the, the manna in the desert, which we read of in the book of Deuteronomy in the first reading. And the second reading is the very short reading from 1 Corinthians. The blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ. And the bread that we break is a communion with the body of Christ. The fact that there is only one loaf means that though there are many of us, we form a single body because we have all shared in this one loaf. This feast brings together so many aspects of what Jesus did for us, is doing for us, and what he's given us in the church, in the sacraments, and each of us through our baptism. There's so many aspects of the body and blood of Christ, but to mention a few. The first is the real presence, that Jesus is truly, really present in the bread and wine which turns into the body, his body and his blood. And we receive it, we eat it, we drink it, and he becomes part of us, we become part of him. Through this receiving of the body and blood, through our attendance at Mass, we participate in the one and true only sacrifice, the supreme sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross by his cross, by passion, death and resurrection. He put us right with God. A sacrifice is a, a process of putting right. And we have been, because we are with Jesus, with our weaknesses and with our, our faults, but we are part of his body, so we are put right with him. Through the Eucharist we become one body. And so with all the members of the body, all the human race, all the members of the church, we together serve him and we serve him more directly through each other. Back to Matthew 25, when you did it to the least of my little ones, you did it to me. Because we're all in the body of Christ, then 
when we serve each other, we serve Christ. And the last one I'll mention is the communion of saints. Through this communion of saints, through the church, both in this world and in the world to come, the single body of Christ, both in time and beyond time, we're all together inside the body of Jesus. He is our head, we are the body. He is the vine, we are the branches. He's the shepherd, we're the sheep. There's so many images to show we're one with Jesus at our head. So on this feast of Corpus Christi, we renew our joy in being part of the body of Christ and our joy in being a follower of Jesus. We turn now to our bidding prayers. The response is, Happy are those who are called to your supper, Lord. Happy are those called to your supper, Lord. Joyfully, we make our prayer to Jesus Christ, the bread of life, as we say, Happy are those who are called to your supper, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant, on the altar of the cross, you offered a perfect sacrifice to the Father. Teach us how to offer it with you. Happy are those who are called to your supper, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, King of peace and justice, you consecrated bread and wine as a sign of your self-giving. Unite us as a victims to unite us as victims to yourself. Happy are those who are called to your supper, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, obedient always to your Father's will, throughout the world the Church renews your offering from the rising of the sun to its setting. Unite in one body those who share the one bread. Happy are those who are called to your supper, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, as the manna came from the heavens, you nourish your Church with your body and blood. In the strength of your food we will walk in your paths. Happy are those who are called to your supper, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, unseen guest at our banquet, you stand at our door and knock. Come to us, fill our hearts with your truth and stay with us. Happy are those who are called to your supper, Lord. You taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave your Church an admirable sacrament as the abiding memorial of your Passion. Teach us so to worship the sacred mystery of your body and blood, that its redeeming power may sanctify us always. Who live and reign with God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. All the best. Have a good day.